Hey there, we're gonna take a look at NFTX V3 on Sepolia. So if you go to your browser and type in v3.nftx.io, we will go through to the website and it should redirect you to the Sepolia branch. Uh, if you haven't connected or are on the wrong chain, it should prompt you to connect uh, or switch chains. Um, to get started with, we're not connected, but we can have a look here. We can go to the profile and we'll see that we're not connected, so we need to connect our wallet. Uh, I'm using MetaMask. We've got an NFTX tutorial. It's quite empty at the moment. Now that we've connected, uh, you can still, we don't have any Sepolia. We don't have any NFTs in there, so let's get some to get started. So if we come to the Get Test Tokens, you can see we have switched to the Sepolia network, and we can go to the Alchemy Faucet or the QuickNode Faucet to get some Sepolia ETH. So I am already a member, uh, I have an account with Alchemy, so I can put my wallet address in here. I can say I'm not a robot and then send me ETH, which will then send me half a Sepolia ETH to get started. The other thing we can do is go to Sepolia-Faucets. We can come here, uh, we can put our address name in here, we can say we're human, and we can start mining. So this will go through, this will mine up to two and a half Sepolia over a 12 hour session. You can increase the number of workers to make it go faster if you want to. Now that we have some Sepolia ETH, if we check in here, we can see that we have 0.5. 0.5, uh, we can also get some NFT tokens. So we're gonna mint some Sepolia NFTs and get NFTs. And this will go through and grab us some Pudgies, some Doodles, some Cool Cats, and some Azukis, uh, CryptoPunks, and Milady as well. Now that we've finished minting our NFTs, we can go back to exploring our profile. And we may have to wait a few seconds for the subgraph to pick up that we now own those new tokens. So this is about 30 seconds after we finish minting. We can see we've got our cool cats, we've got our doodles, our punks, our zuki, our penguins, and our ladies. Uh, you'll notice that uh, when we are looking at the cool cats here, some of the images aren't coming through. This is because they are freshly minted from a Sepolia contract, and it takes a little while for the metadata service to pick up the fact that they're new. Uh, on mainnet, the, most of the collections that you'll be dealing with have already minted out, so all the metadata will exist for it, but it will also index a lot faster on mainnet. So that's it. That's how you can get started. You've got some Sepoli wreath now and you have some items. You can then start going through and interacting with the protocol. Uh, there'll be a few more videos coming up looking at how you can sell, how you can buy, how you can add liquidity, concentrated ranges, inventory, uh, a little bit about auctions and premium prices uh, and more to come. If you have any feedback as well, you can also uh, come along to the Discord. So we've got a Discord link down the bottom. Uh, and we've also got a give feedback link in the top bar here, which will take you across to our uh, NFTX V3 board where you can add any feedback that you might want or any features that you think could be added into V3. Uh, if you are interested in the docs, you can also come down to the docs link here. This will bring you directly across to V3 where we have a V2, V3 comparison, an overview of the protocol, and a lot of details about the specific contracts themselves. Good luck, and we look forward to hearing some of your feedback.